Hello everyone, this is Tons of Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the House uh, House of X uh, Cyclops. So, uh, you can kind of see that through those weird symbols there in the bottom. Uh, and then you get the House of X symbol there, you get Cyclops, you get that Marvel Legends logo on top, you get the House of X logo on top there too. You, on the side you get a picture of Cyclops with that logo too again. And then here's the back with all the characters. We already did Wolverine, we got... Um, Ooh, excuse me, Professor X, Omega, um, Sentinel, uh, Jean Grey, I forgot her name, sorry, I'm trying to zoom through this, uh, Magneto, and then Cyclops, which we have right now, and if you guys want to pause and read this, you can, uh, and then we get the same drawing, I mean, art there on the side, and then here's the bottom with the DCPI, but besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Cyclops out of the packaging here, so at some point, I'll clean this up, and I'll get like a little backdrop going at some point. But first, let's go over the accessories. So first, we get the Sentinel's uh, left hand. We'll go over that once we build it. Um, and then we get an extra head sculpt here where he looks all mad. You get the teeth going. You get that hole in the eye slots there. And you get some blast effects on the sides there. And what you would do is grab this blast effect here. It's basically a transparent um, plastic with some red on it for color. Uh, and then some sculpting throughout it. So you get that blast looking effect there. And what you would do is just basically just pour it right in his eyes like that. And then boom. That's what you get for Cyclops for that. And that's all we got for accessories here. So let's go over to figure here. So for this head sculpt here, it looks kind of calm, a little pissy. Uh, I don't really like the, the paint that they used for the skin tone here. It kind of looks like a zombie look, I guess. I like the mask for him, like the goggles, uh, you get the red there, and then you get the metal I mean, gunmetal red, I meant gray there for the the earpiece there, and then the goggles, and you get this navy blue throughout the figure with some outlining of some ocean blue there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I don't see any paint mess ups for that uh, blue, uh, the ocean blue for this figure at all anywhere yet. Um, but yeah, looks good. And then you get these gauntlets for him here. Nice gray. And you get some like uh, very light blue circles there. So that's cool. I like the sculpt for these. And you get a fisted hand. And then you get uh, this one hand where he's doing the two fingers. And you just do this if he's when he's about to like use his eyes for lasers. And yeah, and you get this belt buckle here. I mean, uh, utility belt here with the X uh, X Men symbol there. That's gray, and then the red on the inside. Uh, I like the detailing on this actually. You get the gray there for the buckle pieces, and you get the gray buttons for the pouches. That's pretty cool. So they went into detail with this figure. Yeah, you get the blue lines there. Um, but besides that, the only thing cool about it I, I think is the utility belt the gauntlets the eyepiece and then like the, the blue lines on um, there's no other things besides the gauntlets and the belt that are original or in the headpiece too oh yeah you also got a big hole in the back for some reason uh but besides that let's go over the articulation so his head can hinge down that far you can do like a little oh never mind you can do that his head can look up that far he can look left and right I uh, no head pivoting. His shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around his shoulder, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows go a little past 90 degrees there. His wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. He has an ab crunch so he can go forward that far, backwards, barely any, like none. That's him standing straight up and that's him going backwards, barely any. Uh, his he has a waist swivel. Get that goes at 360 degrees there. His legs to kick out actually really far to the side there. That's really good. Forward, a decent amount. Backwards more than normal. Um, he has a thigh cut, double jointed knees. Uh, you get the pins in there. Pinless joints on the elbows though, but you get the pins on the knees there. Uh, he has a shin cut there, and then his ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot and here's cyclops with this headpiece here on there too with blasting effects 
Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty cool figure. Come, it, the articulation's decent. I think they could have done a lot better with the app crunch piece or going backwards. Going forward, it's pretty good. They did a really good job on the flexibility side of it for the legs going out that far. That's really good. So they improved on that. Um, so I think they came with the right amount of accessories. I think they could have given this like an extra hand here uh, instead of just this piece on there all the time. But I think you could switch out hands if you want. Not big, of, not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty cool figure. I like it a lot. Um, but um, if and that's all I got on this figure. So if you guys could check out my Twitch, it's the Hunter Collector. I'm trying to get 50 followers. I'm at 24, 25 right now. Um, and yeah, uh, but besides that, uh, that's all I've got for this figure.